Hi everyone, it's FSKETCH your fashion drawing tutorials and in this lesson we're going to learn how to render holographic fabrics and we will render different tones of that, different thickness of fabric and also we'll render tennis shoes. Before starting working with markers, take a look at these colors magenta, bright orange, yellow, pine, marine, cyan and french navy. So these colors make this rainbow and we should choose first the major tone so if we want a more bluish holographic fabric then we will use cyan and marine mostly and when you actually make a gradient you should follow this order of colors so if you use cyan then on the sides you use either marine or french navy gray is a neutral color you can use any color next to gray Time after time we'll use pink and next to pink you can use French navy orange and after orange you can use yellow. This part will become clear soon so don't worry. Now I'm going to spread the same colors on a plastic surface. French navy, cyan, marine, pine, yellow, bright orange, magenta. As a gray, I'm going to use Cool Gray 3. Now take a Blender. Blender is a colorless marker. I use it as, in some way as a brush for paints. So now I'm using gray and my main colors are cyan, marine, you can easily mix them. Just try, uh, when you use one color next to it, try to use the color that is next to it on this rainbow. So more of the gray. I'm trying to show these wrinkles that are made because, you know, this elevated part, her breasts, and that area near her waist because she's bending slightly. When you use some color, next to it to make a gradient you should use a color that is next to it on this rainbow so now i'm using this french navy next to it there is a cyan on the left and on the right is magenta so it's more like a circle so now i'm trying to use more colors and i'm taking in, into account the way that fabric lays on your body on the top we have some diagonal lines towards your breasts Below her breast we have some wrinkles um, in the front part and at her back part fabric is quite straight so it's just more or less straight lines. Right now it looks like a mess but it's okay like just try to look at the images of holographic fabrics. Actually there is a huge mix of colors. So you can use Cool Gray 3 to add some shadows, as I did on her side. So I want to add more of uh, cyan, because my dominant hue is blue, so I want to use more of it. Adding a little bit of green, adding a little bit of French navy and other colors. But as you can see, mostly I use blue hues. So with Cool Gray 3, I'm adding some shadows. Now I'm using Pen Touch Sakura Pen white color one millimeter is, is a width of the nip adding some shine on the wrinkles on her breast on the sleeves central area so adding more shadows showing the wrinkles with a cool gray five really dark gray so we make this contrast I want to spread this Cool Gray 5 on a plastic surface, 
so to make a more smooth transition so I'm using blender and uh, adding more of those shadows now we are going to work with the skirt and we're working the same way mostly I use grays for the wrinkles inside of the wrinkles the sides as you can see I used closer to the edges on her sleeves the same way I'm working with her skirt okay so I want to render her skirt as if it's slightly stiffer than her upper part so you can see how to render uh, holographic fabric with different thickness so when it's thicker it has less of wrinkles so for this skirt mostly we will have uh, these vertical lines so each color looks as if it's a dribbling liquid so now I'm using blues so we have some wrinkles where her legs are crossed so in that area we have some wrinkles and we show them as these uh, curvy zigzags I'm adding more of neutral gray near the hemline pink, some orange and yellow I want to use more of that blue so with a wider nib of my marker I'm just adding more of blue at this point everything looks messy, don't worry now I'm using cool gray for, for the shadows, adding shadows in the inner part of the skirt, on the sides, inside of deep wrinkles. Now using pen touch and showing the reflection of light on the top of the wrinkles where we have these uh, V-shaped wrinkles so on the top of them showing some zigzags and curvy lines so next we're going to work with her shoes we're having this uh, Nike holographic shoes so here I start with a cyan color then I'm using pink magenta basically we make a smooth gradient from cyan to pink and then to, uh, we add a little bit of yellow I hope you're watching in a full screen mode so you can see all the details take your... for the soles I'm using just some different tones of grey take your fine liner and draw the eyelids then take your white ink gel pen and draw the shoelaces in order to make them more visible, just take your regular pencil and draw them one more time. So next, now we are going to work with a holographic fabric with an accent color, more like pink, hot pink colors instead of blue hues. So first I'm using grays for the shadows and wrinkles. And mostly I'm going to use magenta. When you mix magenta with blender, it becomes slightly uh, neon. So that's why I prefer adding mulberry color because it just stays the same. So here, it's, I think it's easier because you will not mix too many colors. Mostly you'll use just magenta, mulberry, you'll add some orange, a little bit of yellow, then mix yellow with green. If you remember how the paint diffuses in water, that's how our stro strokes look like. Sorry that I didn't show how to render the second part of the top, it's just my camera stopped. So let's take a look at this skirt. So these strokes look like dribbling liquid, curvy of different widths, mixed colors like pink, 
add a little bit of orange next to it then add some gray and so on Now I'm adding shadows with cool gray 3, then take a pen touch and show the reflection of light with some zigzagish curly lines. And after that we're done, let's just make a review. So, well, you use this rainbow and you use blender. If you want the cold colors, you use just this group of blues and if you want it more like pink then you use pink mulberry and a little bit of yellow if you use french navy next to it you will use cyan or pink if it's cyan then marine and french navy and so on so it's, it's really not a random choice of colors you should make a proper transition I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, follow the link in the upper right corner or under the video and go to a broader tutorial for holographic fabrics. There are some exercises, free templates and more information. Subscribe to FSketcher channel for more tutorials, like it on Facebook, follow Sketcher on Instagram and Pinterest, share your questions and suggestions and see you next tutorial.